I ask that God bless you. I say thank you for listening to the entire world. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. God is good all the time. But sometimes in our lives, we honestly feel like God is not good to us because of the pain, the stress, the drama. The everyday life can be overbearing. And I ask that God come into your heart. As a matter of fact, I ask that you let God come into your heart while you are going through that pain. While you are going through that burden, that overwhelming situation, because that is where God is and that is where God will meet you. So I will say a prayer. This prayer is a prayer of intercession from the bottom of my spirit with everything that I have. I'm saying this prayer on behalf of every single individual that is seeking God. Collectively, I say this prayer for every single individual that is seeking God so we may be there where every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Our Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, our personal Lord and Savior, individually and collectively, God, by the way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, Father. Father, we ask that you would just come into our hearts, come into our minds, Father. For we know if we renew our minds, Father, on a daily basis, Father, and seek you first, God, there, there you will be. Father, but there are so many distractions that have been created over time, Father, and you are totally aware of each device and each detail of these distractions, God. Nothing is done without your approval, Father. Father, I ask that you approve peace in my life, Father. I ask that you approve glory, Father, to you in my life, Father. Father, I ask that you let the Holy Spirit shine on me, approve that, Father. For there have been so many things in my life that have been approved that I truly disapprove of, God. And I don't think that you want me to go through this, Father, but yet you send me through this, Father. And I do understand, Father, that the blessing is the burden, Father. And I carry that cross, Father, such as when Jesus stumbled and fell and passed the cross off to humanity, Father. I carry that cross. So many of us carry that cross, God. Bless us, Father. Give us the spiritual endowment that we need to have the physical endurance, Father. Give us the blessings, Father, from above, Father, that we know not to come, Father. Give us the blessings that we know not even to ask for, God, but you know, you know we need them, God. Father, we ask that we step up and hold hands together as one race, God's race, the human race, Father, and realize that we breathe the same air. We never have to ask our heart to beat. We never have to ask our lungs to inhale nor exhale, God. Father, we never have to say brain formulate a thought. And Father, for the ones with the disabilities, such as my son, Father, that need to be on oxygen, that need help, Father. I ask that the rest of us stand forth and stand fast together, Father, to help the individuals in this world who need it, God. To not judge them, Father. To love them, Father, as we desire to be loved, Father. Father, soften the hearts of the leaders all across this globe, God. Let them understand, Father, that they are humans, they are not gods. They are not lords, Father. They have a title and a position here on earth, Father. And that we all are made in the image and likeness of you, God. Let us not be distorted by the titles that we carry here on this earth, Father. For there is another place we all shall transition to, Father. And equality exists there. But yet, God. You have sent many people to give us equality on this earth, Father. And I ask that we embrace that, Father, and continue to love one another, Father, so that you 
can shine in our light, shine in our life, shine in every moment, God. But it's so hard with all these burdens, Father. I ask that you approve peace upon this earth, God. I ask that you approve spiritual endowment upon this earth, God. I ask that you approve your spiritual glory to walk amongst us, Father. I ask that you would use those individuals that you have anointed, appointed, assigned, and activated, Father, so that they may lead your generation, Father, greater than what Moses, Abraham, greater than what Jesus has done, Father. For Jesus said in the book of John that he is going to be with you, God. And there shall come a generation that shall do greater works, Father, than what Jesus has done, Father, in that generation is now. Let us have the faith, Father, that is greater than that of a mustard seed, so that we may carry on and press forward into the future, God. Do not delay, Father. Approve the now, Father. Don't just wait, Father. Do it for us now, God. We pray this prayer filled with faith, filled with vigor. Father, for we are relentlessly, relentless in our pursuit of your kingdom, God. And we will not bend, Father. 365 times the phrase, fear not, is in that Bible, Father. That is one for every single day of the year. And one for every single day of the rest of our lives, Father. For we claim that fear not. And we go about this day with glory in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, by way of the grace, mercy, and the ever-loving powers of the Holy Spirit, Father. We recognize you here and now collectively as one hand, God. Amen, amen, and amen. God is with you. God won't leave you hanging. Stay tuned in to what God has for you. Amen, amen. And amen.